little peachy roonies and welcome back to another episode of our sims 4 mini magic basically my witches rags to witches series look how wibbly and wobbly the environment is do you see that wibbly wobbliness that's because it's summer and i don't know it's like i think one of the reasons i like glimmerbrook is because it looks kind of like where we live like these trees and stuff it looks very similar to where we live but where we live it's cold and it's wintry whereas where they live <laughs> When they live, it's really summery. And oh my gosh, why have you just ruined? Why would you just ruin my beautiful intro with like the nature of the environment? With your stupid advertising plane. Like seriously, this is Glimmerbrook. We don't need that here. So let's check in on my little witch Roonies. Cause oh my gosh, you guys thought this would be a good idea. I totally agree. Cause look what I've only gone and done. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm in I'm in the cauldron. I've gone and got Nanami to help her with her rage, her emotions that she tends to feel. Which oh, admittedly have been a lot better since she moved into the tiny home. But I got her like a little meditation circle. I put um, candles around it and I put a deck of tarot cards as well because this is mini magic. This is my witches series. I think she looks very zen, but in a really cool witchy kind of way. Some of you guys said that my jewelry in the last episode, just you can't just say jewelry's witchy and mix it witchy. I happen to think that if it's got moons on it, I think moons are super witchy. So I kind of feel like it was, but I did my research and I now have where we are a black tor tourmaline, tourmaline, tourmaline necklace that's meant to to draw da uh, dark energy. Witchy, okay. Witchy vibes right here. You guys, if you make me go like full witch or wicker in this, from just from doing this uh, series, then Ali's Christian parents are not gonna be happy, okay? So I'm just putting that out there. So what else do we've got? We've got Nanami doing, we've got this weekend is Letha, which is summer solstice. You guys help me how to pronounce stuff as well. Let me check. Oliver, stop ripping up the carpet. Lithia. Lithia. Oh, that actually sounds really cool. Look, because it's Lithia this weekend. Oh, the lottery in the meantime, which honestly we could kind of do with winning. But as you guys know, we have absolutely no money. Her little Nanami did try and sell some of Nita's potions because I'm going to sell this honey, actually. Oh, look at my wind chimes blowing in the wind. Do it again. Oh, do it again. Do it again. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I love that. That's so freaking cute. Oh, look at that lamp, by the way. But yeah, my little, uh, little Na Nami tried to help out Nita by selling some potions. But as much as I love Nami, I don't feel like her strengths really lie in customer service. So that did not do well. Why don't vampires go to barbecues? Because they don't like steak. Seth, you absolute little... This joke is, is kind of offensive to vampires, of which we have a lot, I'm just saying. But also, what was it? Oh yeah, we couldn't actually sell the potions because potions are technically worth zero money in Sims. Which means if you try and sell them, like you, even if you multiply it by 100, it's still 100 times zero. So it's going to be zero. So what I've done is downloaded a mod that will make it so that if you brew a potion, oh, you're meant to pay. I'm pretty sure I added the mud. Where's it at? Alchemy costs. In fact, now she just straight up won't use it. Okay, she. I can get her to the potion now. I've done a little switch around. This, by the way, this little pentagram circle. I always thought this was like, and this is really bad. I think it's just the way that like modern, like how we view this stuff and how we're taught about it as a society. I always thought this was like a devil thing. And then I realized it's actually not. It's meant to signify the um, elements, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's meant to be like earth, wind, no, earth, fire, water, air. I'm pretty, but then there's five. Maybe there's one more. I don't know, but it isn't meant to have a negative connotation. This has actually been super educational for me because kind of the wicked thing is a, a nature-based religion. So there you go. Interesting. I also think it kind of ties into just like this general negativity around it. I, ooh! No, why'd you keep adding potions of immortality, babes? Please do not do that because more people will be coming back to life. Oh, like, actually, you know what? I was saying in Discord how much I wish Cody could come back to life. We literally just got a potion of immortality. Maybe we could give it to him so that he can try and have a bit longer to figure out a cure to his... He wants to become a vampire again, but like Eve, Eve was like, nah. So maybe we could at least give him that. Oh, 6,000 pounds. I can sell it. It's got. It's worth money. But maybe we can give that to him to at least give him a little bit more time to figure stuff out that could be an option yeah i i feel like a lot of young girls go through this phase where they like i don't know they discover like the fun witch stuff and they're like oh I, I remember putting all like my all like my different bath gels and stuff in a, in um, a sink with my friend and then we put it into like a bottle and put it in the fridge at uh, her freezer and it exploded but just like the fun of discovering that stuff as a girl i think it's something you go through i don't know if it's kind of like because there's this thing where you start to realize as a girl that you're probably going to be physically weaker small 
taller. Like, there's disadvantages that you'll face in life as a girl. And when you start to realize that, it kind of, it takes that power away from you. But then when you kind of discover this whole, like, you see, like, witches on TV, you're like, actually, this, like, magic is, like, a great equalizer because it doesn't matter whether you're, you've got bigger muscles or, like, you're stronger or you're taller or anything like that. It's, like, totally equals. I think that's one of the reasons it really appeals to, like, a lot of teen girls kind of get into this kind of thing. But I remember when we started, like, getting into it and, like, year seven just for fun, like, it was, like, a really popular book series when I was a kid called Wicker and we were, like, reading that. We got pulled aside by a teacher and told we weren't allowed to do that anymore. Or like we'd get disciplined if we wanted to look into this and find it fun which is super super messed up uh, it's something that I only I only remembered when I went back to record this series and I'm like it is like really viewed very negatively and I don't actually think it is based in that you guys can illuminate me in the comments below because I know a lot of people have come to the series and been really excited by the fact that we are like going down this route of more traditional wicker but yeah in school we literally got told we'd expelled if we would get expelled if we looked into it which is totally messed up but anyway get Getting back into the series, one thing I really wanted to do is little Nita, I want her to try and learn this herbalism skill. Because if we set up her little alchemy Hello. store, Oh look, Raven, funny you say that. We're not going to the human hijinks because I've got a better idea. What I'm going to go and do is mobilize the coven. 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 I said it right. Yes. Start a gathering. Bring everybody around. It will give Nita the chance to meet Eden, who is the newest member of the gang. Sujin, what are you wearing there? I don't even know. Iron is here as well. But basically, I want to go to Granite Falls so we can gather ingredients so that we can do this um, whole herbalism brewing remedy stuff. I was like, I don't have enough money. How am I going to get everybody there? Then I'm like, why am I paying for the whole coven? You know, I don't need to do that. So what I'm gonna do instead is oh look at look at him straight on that yes Aaron being an absolute pro at the meditation for Nanami there I feel like she will definitely be like what so he just come over and done it better than me like he obviously is just doing that to prove a point yeah I sort of realized I should just ask the rest of the coven for money and then we can all go to the the to Granite Falls together and do a little bit. Where's Ask for Money? There we go, Ask for Money. We can do a little bit of a coven style gathering where we all sort of hang out. We ask for, we gather herbs and we just do like fun witch vibes, you know? So I'm gonna get people to ask based on their friendship levels. Oh my gosh, everyone's all about this meditation life. Love that. And let's see how much money we can get. Okay, Aaron gave us 33. <gasps> okay, SJ gave us 12. Kind of need a bit more than that, friendo. And it's kind of awkward, but Eden doesn't really know anybody else. So she's She's kind of outside. She's coming out to say hello. Uh, obviously, Nami met her last episode. They kind of have the secret. We need to find our uh, missing parent vibes going on. But Nita and Eden haven't actually met yet. Okay, Raven. Raven's, I think, might have given us quite a good amount. We're getting our household funds up quite a lot. This is the first time we've seen the whole coven together. So this is super adorbs. Ooh, she gives 25 $200. I feel like this could be enough for us to get, like, at least a night in a tent. Although I would prefer to get a night in a house with all of us together. If we can get to $300, we can go. This seems like a really unethical way to just get a load of money out your friends. $45, we're so close. $16, boom. Okay, gangalang, okay. Take a vacay. We want to go with the whole of the club, all the gang going on vacation together. I feel sad that we have to leave our adorable little house, if I'm being honest. Especially when, like, look, a little herbs and our bees. Bees, please be okay when we get back, okay? But we're gonna go to Granite Falls with the gang. Can I stay in one of the nicer ones? Oh my gosh, no, no. Oh, we could stay in that one. Or we could just camp. It's hot, actually, it's hot. What if it's not hot here? Should I just go in the riverside retreat and we'll just, like, people might have to sleep on sofas and stuff, but we'll figure it out. I think we should do that let's do we can only afford one day and it's all of our money and it's one bath and one bed but it will be worth it because like we all need to help need to get everything that she needs for her herbal remedies because then we can use them and we can sell them and it's raining okay definitely definitely glad that we got this one instead of camping outside okay nita's pretty good at fishing so you want to go and set up fishing and we'll get everyone inside and while this is really going to be very squishy one two three three people will be able to sleep and i'm gonna have to build enable free build because this is just pitfall it should be better than this okay that's a bit better i've put another one of these for people to sleep as well <gasps> everyone's gonna be so rough in the morning like so rough you just know it and we're already having toilet based dramas aren't we and need to bless it grabbing everybody a bit of fish for dinner but i think in order to save money cooking fish for dinner will be the best thing and also very very kind of rags to riches theme very willowy very neatery it's all part of the same little bear family and everyone's tired and hungry so the sooner we find a fish the better and i think to get a lot of the ingredients i'm kind of feeling like i'm gonna have to go into the woods Ooh! 
Before you head home, harvest this unidentified fruit. Elderberries! In fact, harvest everything, okay? Ah, uh, Nami's asleep. Nami's stolen the bed. Okay, everyone else is just like, well, I guess we'll just kind of chit chat around. Are you guys flirting? Did you guys just do a flirt? Are you guys flirting? Are you <laughs> or were you just in flattering? It's hard to tell flattering from flirting in this game. But Raven's doing sit-ups on the floor and I've lost SJ completely. Oh, he's outside. He's outside in the rain. I don't know. I feel like he's still in a little bit of an odd place because of his scarring, kind of staying away from everybody else a little bit. He's got some stuff he needs to work through, bless him. And she's still not caught fish. Not good. Okay, I'm kind of giving up on the fish because Nita, bless her, does not seem to be catching anything. And it's 10 p.m. So now we're just going to throw together a salad. Oh my gosh, she's full on flirting. I did not expect this. I did not expect these guys to be Steve so flirty to together. Noah. Like, that was going to come out of nowhere. I actually thought Eden sure. was kind of low-key into Nami, but she seems like she's into Aaron. Okay. And while little Nita is cooking the little salad for everyone here, I know these guys are getting to know each other. Nita's sleeping. Nita, no, babes. I would like you to try and, like, get to know uh, Eden a bit because, you know, it's the first time you guys have met. I feel like, as well, in Nami's head, she'd be projecting, like, oh, my gosh, Nita's going to hate you. Eden, because like I've just like invited her to the cove and she's probably really jealous about her like la 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 but this is like N Nami full on projecting her own insecurities into Nita which I just don't think Nita's like that at all. I actually feel like Nita would be much more like oh my gosh any friend of Nami's is a friend of mine love what you're wearing like can't wait to get to know you more I think we're gonna be such close friends. That's my alarm which means I need to set off to get my nails done which says because we finally got to Granite Falls and I was having such good fun don't worry I am gonna keep playing i'm just gonna have to break off and come back to it but yeah i feel like like literally nita will just be excited for another coven member she like obviously completely trusts nami but also is probably just excited to meet a friend of nami's although obviously one nita has no idea that nami has this whole father is actually brother drama going on she also doesn't know that eden knows and she doesn't which could potentially cause some drama down the line but right now it's all just friendship and covens okay it is 1 30 in the morning though so i mean these guys paid the lunch actually they didn't the friends of all we paid the lunch yeah but we organized it so we're gonna take the bed you guys sleep as you will okay no in sims they'll just stand all night i can just feel it i can literally just feel it at least they're all getting to know each other though which is nice so jenna i don't know what you're doing but this is weird okay guys I'm bad. Check out. I don't know if you can see my peach nails. It actually has a little peach on it. It's it's really hard to tell. Oh my gosh, the colors are so weird. But oh, that's better. Look at that. Look how freaking cute that is. I have not eaten a meal yet today. It's nearly 6 p.m. and I've not eaten a meal. I've eaten one cupcake all day. I am so tired. But I don't care. We are gonna go into the national park and we're gonna find some plants. Okay, that's just what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna have to finish this party and get some sleep soon. I'm just saying because we we've got stuff to do tomorrow. This is all very cute. So searchy emotional your scars are gone because you've got seriously <laughs> because you've got some spots all of your scars are gone that's not how the game that's not how life works okay and i've just realized the shower here is outside did i do that by accident is that meant to be in there i feel like that's meant to be in there and i just want to do my adventuring because look i looked in nito's adventure inventory and look it says unidentified fruit what could this be and you can attempt to identify or you can eat it i don't know if i wanted to get sick from trying to eat it but it's kind of a fun concept oh and the rain seems to have washed away the spots and brought back the scars oh he looks really sad about that as well Paul the journey makes me so sad okay 8 a.m nanani is nanami is up and ready what are you sad about there's some sadness going on here you're just feeling sad feeling a little bit down today okay oh yep now fully feeling down you want to complain about your problems to someone i noticed that you did come in here to potentially complain about them to eden instead of nita i don't think I get that, like, the reason she hasn't told Nita about everything is because Nita helped us so much with her mental health before. I think she feels like it's unfair to just, like, dump on her again. Of course, I really don't think Nita will mind, but Nami is like, no, I don't want to trouble her with all of this. However, it can actually kind of low-key be even sadder if you if Nita finds out that she's using somebody else for her, like, her emotional needs. Like, I'd feel really sad if Ali was speaking to somebody else for that stuff because that's kind of part of being a partner. But get ready, gang along, because we're going on an excursion. These guys finally 
settling down for some kip eye. Kip eye? Kip eye? Shut eye. Or kip. One or the other, Claire. And this is about to become spoiled. So we ain't eating that. And let's have a go at seeing if we can attempt to identify this without having to eat it and potentially get sick. Because I'm not sure if that's something I want her to do. Let's see who's snoring. Is that a surgeon? I can hear snoring. Oh, now you shut up. I heard you snoring. How about you, Eden? Do you snore? No, you, you do a little huh in your sleep. Well, that's just freaking adorable. He's so snoring. He keeps doing it every time we move away. <gasps> and we've got some of the herbalism skill. Yes, is that from identifying? This appears to be elderberry. We're actually on the road to herbalism now, which I'm super excited about because I've never had a sim do this before. So this is real fun. Okay, gangalang. I know you've not been sleeping very long, but prayers and shine uh, because we're going to go and look for some stuff to harvest, okay? And I feel like we need to go to the national park for that. So let's rally all of the troops and let's get the show on the road. This is fun. It's like a school trip, but instead of a school, it's your friends and you actually chose the group that you're with. And look, we're meant to be dressed for like exploring the forest. Look at everyone. Oh my gosh, cute. Look at everyone though, being hilariously unwell dressed for the weather. For the weather, for, for what is at stake today, which is trying to find these like stuff to harvest. Like, what are you? A wild plant, a plant going in the wild. Could it be worth harvesting? That to me is another elderberry one. I'm being, if I'm being honest, I need something different. Give me something different, game. I'm actually like, am I blind? Or is, is it because it's a bit of a cloudy day? I can't see a thing. This is a wild plan. Okay, thanks, game. Awesome. Would never have guessed that. This is a wild plan. Oh my gosh, I need a bit more than that. Okay, there's got to be something for me to harvest here. Oh, you've used our remaining money to <laughs> grill some hot dogs. Okay, that's fair because people do need to eat. What is everybody else doing? Okay, we've got Eden playing a bit of ring toss. I've kind of like, I feel like I'm, I've lost all the group members. Raven is, ooh, doing a bit of woodworking. Okay, fun. Aaron is getting some shut eye and Sojin is running around. I'm not going to lie though, gang. I can't see anything to harvest. I know you told me to come here. But it's everything's at that annoying growing stage where it's like not actually that useful. Nita's like out making friends. Here, but okay, she's out getting teased by other folks. But still, she's been all social. Oh my gosh, isn't this where Connor proposed potentially? I kind of feel like it might be. Oh, we got some insects to collect here. I feel like they could be good for potions and stuff. Yeah, not not really getting a great deal of what I actually need. Nanami's catching mosquitoes. Well done, Nanami. That's also terrifying and gross, but well done. Oh well, we'll grab some hot dogs. Sometimes in this game, it's annoying, but if you only just go to an area, that's when it like triggers stuff to like start growing. But it's kind of annoying if you're not planning on hanging around. Like we've used all her money. We can't really like stick another night. So if stuff can just grow a little bit faster, that that would be awesome. Oh, that's the hidden world, isn't it? In fact, maybe while Nita's grabbing stuff, Nanami can explore that. Oh, these guys having a little flirt across the table. Adorable, adorable scenes. Cute little chit chats. I do sort of low key feel like. I know I'm putting words into Sim's mouth here, especially when they actually are being adorable to each other. Compliments flying around, being sweet little beans. But obviously, I don't feel like Eden knows that Nami hasn't told one, the rest of her coven, but to Nita about, you know, the fact that her brother is actually her dad. And now she's trying to find information out on her mum. So I feel like she could potentially just like drop it into conversation. Just like, oh, by the way, have you found... I mean, she's literally walking away now, which is making this even more annoying. Please stop taking the Wonderland pill. I feel like before she peaced out, oh, we actually have some lost love so this actually could make sense oh lost love happening again what are you what's going on between you guys i don't know a little bit of arguments going on there and somebody would like to make in the business world nanami a regional manager i can't imagine a worst fit for this girl but i do feel like before eden zoomed off wherever it is that she did zoom into the toilets over here i'm honestly not 100 sure she did just drop a little bit into the conversation which is kind of like the whole oh like and obviously with nami like trying to find her mother after a whole like sagey dad thing and Nita's like, wait, what? What What are you guys talking about? I mean, they kind of went down this route a little bit on their own. Do you like how everyone pieces out? As soon as there's an argument, Raven's like, I got somewhere to be. So, Jin, do you want to come with me? I feel like we got something to do. And Aaron's like, yeah, I'm over here, actually, Raven. If you come over here, I feel like there's something we need to do over here away from the drama but yeah a little bit of a whole like oh a bit awkward like why would you not tell me that i don't understand why you wouldn't mention that to me i meant to be like your girlfriend your partner and you go and open up to somebody else 
And I was like, well, it was like, I know we've got like, I've talked, I've, I've loaded on you so much before, like, blah, blah, blah. And Lisa's just like, no, I need some time away. Like, give me some time to think. They've actually kind of accidentally done this on themselves. Very in story fitting, so well done. Oh, and look, she's actually feeling embarrassed. I know it's because Nita criticized her clothes as part of the argument they have. I didn't tell her to do that. She mucked her outfit all on her own. But it also, her being embarrassed and feeling like really uncomfortable kind of works. And oh, Nita is now angry from an aggravating conversation as well. So she's feeling angry. Like, I don't think she actually felt any jealousy towards uh, New Girl Eden at all. But then the minute that she realized that she was like, she oh, look at that. She was talking to her instead of Nita. She's like, what? The, why, like, Nami's meant to share everything with me. Oh, wow, where am I? I got so angry, I threw my mouse. She's meant to share everything with me. Like, this is just not cool at all. Like, I'm not happy with this. I'm gonna go spend some time with the plants to help me calm down. And while she's doing that, I'll send Nami into the exploration tunnel. Vacation's ended in four hours. No, I can't even extend it because we don't have enough money. You've somehow got six dollars. I don't know how you did that. I, like with Seth and Pam, people send them money all the time. Why is no one sending my little witch girls any money, okay? It's raining and everything now. Should Nanami retreat or step forward? Of course she's gonna step forward. Our girl's strong, okay? They cannot explore the bum butt. Oh no. Eight hours of uncomfortableness. Quick, make yourself more comfortable. Go like wash your hands and stuff. And I can't believe of all the other plants here, I can't harvest anything. Like, what is this pure joke right now? How can you do this to me? I don't get it. Did I need to read some books? Maybe I need to buy some books, but I've got no money for books. Just see the catch 22 we're in gang along. Found some dragonflies, awesome. You're inspired from brushing, washing your handos, so you can go back in. Just forget that you're itchy, okay? Cause it's still there. <gasps> oh my gosh, would you like to send an army to deep woods? Yes. Yes, we're gonna send it to the deep woods. Oh my gosh, it's gonna kick me home really soon. Have I ever been here before? It's the woman in the house. Oh my gosh, we need to we need to bring Nita, give her the map coordinates and let her get a broom here right now because there's definitely gonna be stuff. Oh my gosh, you're uncomfortable because you've been mauled by a bear. Nita, come and give poor Nami. She got you all the way here. She's feeling so sorry for herself. She's so itchy. Look at the poor girl. Come and give her a little bit of a pep talk. Be like, thank you so, so much for bringing me here. You managed to get your way through the brambles. I've had too many couples that allow a little bit of drama to get between them. And I don't feel like these guys are like this. Nita just needed a little bit of time to cool off. But now that she has, she's gonna be like, look, I totally understand why you didn't tell me. Oh my gosh, I could bed, no. I totally understand why you didn't tell me. But please don't ever feel like you can't tell me stuff. I am your partner, okay? And I wanna be the person that helps you through this so let's get through this together now that i know cute cute little woman love woman beans i love them she's like but also in an army i don't know how much time we've got here so i'm gonna need us to go around and collect everything right now like literally right now harvest everything talk to the crazy lady she's probably a witch let's face it and let's let's find out everything we can about herbalism does this woman actually know a lot about herbalism she's like this woman that lives out in the woods on her own probably like the fairy leave her gifts. The local children leave her alone because they've heard rumors that she might turn them into toads. I don't know. That's that's a future I want. She looks at this beautiful rainbow. This woman's a hero. Nami, go use those famous people skills that you've got, okay? And need to collect like your heart depends on it. I feel like even this marching you're doing too slow. That's right. Get on your little broom. I don't care how long it's- I don't care how scared you are flying. Right now, we need to collect what we can while we can, because I don't think we've got very much time. The rest of the coven is just like, uh, where are you guys gone? What's- what's happening? They were here one minute, and then they're gone. I don't understand. <gasps> oh, no! Don't make me do this! Please, don't make me do this! Why? I can't extend. I can't afford it. We just found the witch in the woods, who would probably tell us so much about herbalism. And instead, we have to go home. Are you joking me? Are you actually joking me? Okay, I feel like we have to find a way to go back. I have to make sure that witch is maxed in, like, the herbal skill and give her the skill that allows her to, like, um, teach others because I want- I want to learn. I want to believe, okay? But in the meantime, we did get some stuff. So I say, an identified mushroom. Let's plant one of those try and identify it as well just won the lottery so sharing money with friends here you go six dollars <gasps> 111 she won the lottery it's not fair and then let's also plant this elderberry exciting we've got new stuff to plant that's awesome each has no idea what plant this is okay oh i can't plant it until i know what it is i guess i guess i should try eat it oh my gosh something cre creepy won't happen if i eat it will it please don't say it will please don't be a magic mushroom oh sojourn interesting look 
Okay, are you gonna eat the mushroom? Oh man, she looks nervous about this. Uh, that that is some nervous eating right there. Are you okay? Ah, oh, yibs. Mm -hmm. You sound like you might be high, girl. Oh, I can't believe we didn't get anything that we need to actually. And why have I got stupid mosquitoes in my house? I hate mosquitoes. The moth's cool, but I can't believe we didn't get the fireflies. And I can buy this garage sale table. This can I sell from this, or is this just a display table? Oh. <gasps> We have a table. We can sell our wares. We might actually be able to get enough money. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a job for us to try tomorrow. For now, I still can't plant that because I don't have enough herbalism. Oh, $75, are you kidding me? It's so much money. Oh man, this is the problem with rags to riches. Stuff, stuff be hard. Nami ain't making no money. Needs is selling honey and that's it. I mean, we could craft candles. Nami, you are now a candlestick maker. Why don't you make a wish? for some simoleons and just really hope we get something, okay? <gasps> no freaking way! No freaking way! How? How? We just literally just got three and a half grand. That feels like the biggest cheat in the whole wide world. Wow, um, okay, I guess I can buy that book now. It feels so cheaty, like, I think we're gonna have to donate some to charity because that just feels so wrong, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at them all on the counter with the little mushrooms on. How have I never done this in The Sims before? Because I get super excited about stuff like this. But needs it, Nanami has just gotten you an awesome, awesome set of gifts. You can now study herbalism. Look how thick the other two are. The first one's so skinny, but the other two are actually proper proper little reads and you can study herbalism maybe next time we won't like it won't be such a complete trash waste of time you'll actually be able to identify and harvest stuff i'm learning guys okay i mean it's it is a kid's game but clearly i'm not great at it okay i've literally completely spent up i spent that three thousand but i made a really cute the beginnings at least of uh okay wow tree just absolutely ruining my view there but little apothecary slash witchy um shop nanami if you made another candle that we can sell if so, throw it on there. Ooh, Raven's here. Raven is here. And Nami is getting attacked by the bees. Well done. But at least we sold a little bit of honey. Oh my gosh, you are, now you're actually stung. I've got her to describe a new idea to Raven. Is this something that you guys were suggesting in the comments below? I know these guys are potentially not the bestest of friends, but also might be a good person to... Oh, I love her new tattoos so much. A good person to run this idea on that you guys have had, and I think it is something... Oh, wow, what's going on with your hand there, babes? Something that uh, Nami wants to do is a little bit of an apology for Nita and just to make sure, you know, she knows that she is her number one. And that is, if I'm able to, with the limited cash. No, 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 no. To make sure I can do it, I am going to have to try and, like, run this little stall for a bit, so... But it's meant to be a little witchy stall. It, it kind of looks like a little witch stall. We got, we got candles and witches stock. I'm just hoping people actually care enough to buy stuff, you know? But running it in Glimmerbrook should mean, hopefully, that, you know, we're, we're attracting witches to the stall. I think it's cute. I think it's a cute little stall. And this feels so much like what Willow used to do. Like, literally so much. Such Willow vibes right now. Go streaking, are you joking me? I don't think so, lady. Did you just literally get some fame by streaking? I don't know if you think this is how you're gonna find who your mom is by streaking and drawing attention to yourself, but... I'm not sure about this idea. <gasps> 12,000 pounds! Oh my gosh, that was the potion of immortality! No freaking way! 12,000, that, that seems way too high. This dude here just bought the potion of immortality. We have another one, don't worry. But oh my gosh. Why is that so ridiculous? Like, how? We seem to have this cracked. Like, literally, we've got this cracked. Which means that I can't do what I wanted to do with Nami now. Please be a black cat. Please be a black cat. Please. Oh, <gasps> Queen Cupcake. Oh my gosh, she's literally a queen as well. Queen Cupcake, the kitten, Russian blue. I really wanted to get them a black cat, and I wanted to do it as a little bit of a gift. Black cats, if you guys didn't know, tend to be adopted less than other cats, which is obviously very unfair. And also, they cannot be adopted around times like Halloween and stuff, because, I don't know, the, the poor cat, black cats have a bit of a bad rep. People tend to be a little bit crueler to them. But they are very synonymous with witches. Uh, so I think we should show that black cats are awesome. And is this our adoption agent? Is this our adoption agent? Where'd you put the cat? <gasps> Where's the cat, babes? Where have you put it? I think we should show how awesome black cats are by adopting one. However, I don't know where it is. Oh my gosh, look where he's put the adoption thing. If this isn't a sign that they should get it, I don't know what is. However, don't panic, but I have totally lost this kitten. Guys, seriously, where is the kitten? Please don't tell me it's fallen in the pond. 
Kitten, where are you? Found it! Oh my gosh, I've been searching for this for so long. <laughs> Another interesting thing about black cats is when they hide, it sure is hard to find them. But finally, it's here. Let's go and do a cautious introduction to Queen Cupcake. Hi, Queen Cupcake. She just having a full-blown conversation with the cat. What are you talking to the cat about? You're just talking to it like it's a little human. Like, so if you want to move in here, our neighborhood has like a really good security. The police force is always really on it. The cats like love that. Love a strong force presence in my neighborhood. And yeah, if you want to join our little family, you are more than welcome to. You guys are fast on the way to becoming friendos. She's so nervous with cats as well. Like she's going, oh, like so nervous the whole time. But the cat actually really likes you. Don't even worry. <gasps> We've done it. We've adopted. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? 100%. First name queen, second name cupcake. And we have a little adorable black cat as well. Yay. You're gonna offer friendship as well. The kitten's so cute. Usually adopted pets on this game, I swear, are always like mean or something. Nita's like, yes, we are putting this cat on my new apothecary shop's Instagram page right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. We've done a lot this episode. We've adopted uh, Queen, our new black cat. 3,000 pounds from a well by uh, Nami, which has allowed us to get 12,000 pounds from selling a potion, which is ridiculous. We went to Granite Falls with the coven. We noticed that Eden and Aaron, there was flirtations going on there, which is super adorable. And then finally, Nita found out about Naomi's dad, brother, Sitch. However, they managed to sort it out and Nita's gonna help her as well, which is the best outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another mini magic. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Nobody's like us When people see us, they know uh, I feel so much for you That I don't know what to do yeah.